So is this a DMR? Is this a sniper? Is this a rifle? What is this? Let's find out together. Hello, and welcome to Call Sign Airsoft. Today, I'll be discussing the Novridge SSX 303. Is this a DMR? Is this a sniper? Is this nothing more than just a carving kit for his SSX 23? Well, yes to all, and also no. So let's check this out. When you get the 303, you open it up, you'll get a little booklet here. It's basically a little thank you, a little uh, quick paragraph on the safety guide, general warnings, a disclaimer, basically saying it's not Novich's fault if you shoot someone's eye out. Standard in any airsoft uh, gun that you get. And also has some safety guidelines with some pictures of Novridge himself, which are actually, some of them are, are a bit comical. Also, you get this little Allen key. And then inside is the gun and one mag. Very simple packaging. And you won't expect anything less all the Novridge packing uh, boxes are very simple and very clean. Just like his his guns that he does produce. I, I do like how Novridge does design them. They're not flashy. They're very simple. They all come in one color. Black. Now this is a carbine kit for the SSX-23. But... It comes with one already built inside. So it's not a kit that you can just buy for your 23. You have to get this all together. It's CNC aluminum and is built very, very well. It's one of the best parts about this is how well this is built. There is no rattle. It is solid. The stock is multi position so you can set five different positions which i like so just about any player can use this whether they they prefer to have it fully extended or slightly the trigger since this is based off of the 23 and there is one inside here that kept the dual stage trigger so when you first pull it back, there are two positions. One, it'll bring back the hammer, and the second will fire. So in one quick motion, it fires, but you can bring it back until you hear the click, and you can feel that hammer go and lock in position. And then you can pull a trigger and release that hammer. The inner barrel is 303 millimeters, thus the name, the SSX 303. So the hop up is located right here. Very easy to get to. Uh, works very well in my firing. And this can hop up to 0.46 gram BBs, which is fantastic. So you, you can run a heavier round and use this as a sniper. However, we'll, we'll talk about the classification in a little bit. The mags are the same mags as the SSX-23. So you can run the mags for your sidearm, which if it is the SSX-23, you can run the same mags for both. Now, in the box and all the pictures of this always shows it has a silencer it doesn't come with a silencer which is fine uh, be nice to, to have a silencer especially if it's a picture on the box has 
has a silencer. But just like the, the SSX-23, it doesn't come with a silencer. You have to purchase that as well. Things I like about this. Obviously, the stock. The fact that you can run the same mags from your 23 in this. Now, this is green gas. And Novich does suggest using different gases for the... Uh, jewels that you want to shoot out of this gun and they also do have different nozzles that you can install in here to adjust the FPS and jewels firing so you can find the right jewel FPS setting for your field which is which is definitely great um, there are lots of accessories out there including where you can put an HPA adapter on this which I like instead of having to change the nozzles to run different fields, just HPA it, but I am an HPA guy. But if, if you're trying to run a light loadout, being able to adjust joules and FPS by a nozzle change and a gas change is definitely nice so then you don't have to have a tank on you. The accuracy. The accuracy of this is right on par with just about everything Novridge. It is extremely accurate. Range on it is is up there as well. So you can run this as a DMR and definitely pick targets off at a greater distance that a normal AG can reach and it's quiet. With the silencer on this, it's extremely quiet. So let's talk about my thoughts and interesting points about this. Okay, so first time out of the box, shooting it using Elite Force Green Gas. 0.20 gram BBs, so nothing crazy. Just want to see where we're shooting at. And it was shooting at 450 first couple shots and then proceeded to drop as normal green gas does. Um, I was able to get two mags out of a fill. Now I would probably fill it each time you fill, you reload the mag just to keep the FPS up because it does drop pretty quickly. So gas efficiency in this isn't that great. Um, it's probably something I can go in there and see if I can't tweak. So, Novrich says that you can run this as a sniper, DMR, CQB. And in sense, yes, you can. If your field allows it. A lot of fields don't allow this to be a sniper because it's not a bolt action spring. Uh, a lot of fields don't allow this to be a DMR like Bellahack. Bellahack is definitely a very popular field. They have great events. And you cannot run this as a DMR. They only count DMRs as if they are a their real world counterpart is a larger caliber. Obviously this being a pistol carbine, this is not a larger caliber. So you won't be able to get that extra power uh, class so you'll have to be in a normal rifle class now that's not necessarily a bad thing because this can hop larger grand bb's and very accurate and does have a good distance now are you going to be able to out distance sniper rifles and dmrs probably not if if they're they're set up very well because they will have more power to reach out a little further. But what it lacks in that department, it'll make up in how quiet it is. So if you can get within your range and you can get hidden, you can take them out before they ever know you're there. Another interesting thought is this hop up. So I have my gloves on that I usually wear. And when you go to adjust the hop-up, I can't. 
with a glove on, it's very, very difficult to adjust that hop up. I mean, I can, but I really have to go really trying really hard and it's, it's not an easy adjusting hop up with a gloved hand. Without a glove, super easy. So it would be nice if this was a little bit bigger to compensate for a glove on the hand. So Nobert says you can run this in CQB. And you can, you can get a little tracer unit on there. This is definitely compact. I, I play a lot of CQB and this trigger is definitely not a trigger I want to be shooting in CQB. There's, you have to, you do have to put a lot of pressure on that trigger to fire it. It's not going to be a quick, this pop, 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 not happening. Now you can get a de you know, get decent speed. But it, it's not a good CQB style trigger. So the million dollar question. Would I recommend buying this? And to that, yes and no. I would first talk to your local airsoft field or the fields that you plan on using this at and finding out what they classify this as. If they will allow it to be a sniper or DMR, that's great. If they don't, then I would definitely consider if you want to run this in the rifle class. Because if you're in that class, you can run AGs, carry more rounds on you, uh, get a better rate of fire, and do more things with it. Now, if, if you're looking to do special events or maybe use this as a sidearm to a sniper loadout that's where i feel this falls into this is a special event or secondary gun i think that is it's it's perfect uh niche for the the fields that i plan on using this in and if that's the case then absolutely this is a gun that you'd want to pick up if you're able to either use it as a DMR in those fields. If you're going to be doing events that doesn't require lots of BBs on you. Uh, or a sniper secondary. Those three, absolutely this is a great platform to pick up. If, if, if you're looking to be a run and gun there are better options out there and guns that, that are more affordable for those. So what do you think? Is the Novrich SSX 303 worth its price tag? Let us know in the comments below. And would you buy this gun? And if so, what are your plans for it? And as always, please hit that like and subscribe. And to everyone who has, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. And to everyone, have a great day. And we'll see you later.